everyone. First of all, I want to apologize for my English and for my son who is going to be running around the house and screaming. Um, today's video is going to be a craft room tour or a studio tour. In this case, this room is also my office. And I want to start by saying that I've been buying supplies since 2010 when I started to study art. And uh, I also started working with polymer clay in 2010. So this is, um, this is not something that I purchased yesterday. Uh, it took a lot of time to get all of the supplies that I needed. And I also wanted to say that you don't need all of this stuff to start creating. I started buying uh, more and more things uh, when I started to learn about new techniques and <clears throat> other things that I could make with other materials. So you don't need all of these things. I just wanted to say that. I have a job and I also own an Etsy shop, which um, has given me most of the money to buy all the supplies. Um, I didn't have a room this big. I started crafting in my living room in a small desk and then uh, till today that I have my own room for all of my crafting supplies. So I want to start by showing you my oven. This oven has about six years and it still works, works great. I bought it at Walmart for about $16. This is the cinch, a book binding machine. I have here one of my uh, sketchbooks. Here I have some notebooks. This notebook I made myself with the cinch. Here I keep uh, boxes with bindings. Here I have some jump rings, headpins. I got these little boxes from Office Depot and here I store most of the small things. And here I have some paper punch, paper punches. Here I store my PVO paints. These paints react to each other. I have a video in, on my YouTube channel which I show how to make jewelry with this, with this uh, kind of paint and resin. Here I have some dollhouse uh, plates. I have some paint in here, Scoopy paint and gallery glass paint. I use this for frosting. Here I have some, some sprinkles for my resin jewelry. This box I have a lot of sharpies. And here I store all my things for um, making uh, resin jewelry. These things are made for nail art, but they are great for using with, with resin. I have some stickers. Here in my desk I have these drawers where I store uh, my USBs and some random stuff. Here I have some uh, lenses for my iPhone. With these I take uh, micro shots and they work great. Okay, here I have some Sharpies, some pens, here I have some more Sharpies and more pens. And this is a gift from my sister. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, so she thought of me when she saw this. And I love it. And here I have some brushes, um, some acrylic paint. I got this from Walmart. Um, some deco cream from Miniature Suite from Etsy, some alcohol inks, some Tamiya decoration sauces. Here is a, this is kind of like a soft pastel, like soft pastels. <clears throat> Sorry guys. 
they look like eyeshadows but they are not <laughs> they are uh, you can use them on polymer clay to give the kind of baked texture baked color I mean and here I have these drawers where I keep my frostings and sprinkles and here these are polymer clay mixes color mixes and more sauces and frostings I have these notebooks and this is uh, my main desk area this is where I work the most I made that sticker with my Cricut and this is an L polish this is an L polish organizer but I think it's perfect to store some of my polymer clay supplies like this is some glue Fimo, Scoopy Glaze and these drawers, I got these drawers from CVS. They were black, but I painted them with pink and purple. Here I store my finished pieces. This is in crosses. This is a orange chain. And these are some sprinkles from Happy Kawaii Supplies on Etsy. And I, here I store my findings, some cookie cutters. Some cutters I made myself for my pieces, temper tools, here I have some jump rings, here I have some of my molds, molds that I've made myself and molds that I got from Etsy. On the side of my desk I have more drawers. And here I store all the things that I use the most. I have some glue, some liquid scopy, a piece of foam to drill my pieces. I have a uh, Dremel right over there. I have uh, some pastels. These are my tools. The chain that I use for my necklaces, some pliers. In the second drawer, I have some shipping supplies, bubble wrap, uh, seat blocks, papers. And in the third drawer, I have my laminator, my mink, I have a keyboard for my iPad, and my bamboo. Here I have some acrylic paints. And to my left, I have these beautiful drawers that I got from Office Depot. Rainbow drawers, I love them. The first drawer has a lot of random stuff. Second one, I have like new supplies, erasers, sharpeners, paper. And here I have my glitter collection, my happy drawer. These uh, are molds for resin, stamps, sprinkles, and then here's my polymer clay drawer. Here I have a lot of random art supplies, watercolors, sketchbook. Here I have all of the materials for the sink. Or a cinch, I should say. Here I store paper. I have more drawers here. Here are my shipping supplies. Here's my favorite clipboard. Uh, these are my, I don't know how to say this in English, in Spanish is guillotina, to cut paper, so I have two of those, different styles. This is a painting that I made. Here's my Cricut Explorer. That's a great machine. And this is some art that I made myself. I haven't had the time to go and buy some frames, so I take them to the wall. 
here's my printer you have some vinyl my camera and that's it guys I really love my room I think it's perfect for me I like the lights the light that the room has and if you look through the window you can see all of the mountains and trees I live in Puerto Rico so this is a tropical island you see green everywhere it's really hot all the time <laughs> you can see the palm trees the mountains I also have a second door that leads uh, to the outside and I have one door that takes me to the living room Jeez. I love to express myself through art. Here are some pictures of my work. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.